This is the moment everything changed. For decades, we were told engines need gasoline, oil, combustion, and pollution. But what if they were wrong? What if water, yes, simple water, held the key all along? In today's video, you're going to witness something many still say is a myth. We've taken a regular gasoline engine and reworked its heart to run on nothing but hydrogen extracted from water. No tricks, no edits, no gasoline. Is it safe? Will it run? Is this even real? Stay with us and watch the impossible come to life. Why build a water engine? Why even try something like this? It started with a simple question. What if we could run an engine without fossil fuels? What if water could replace gasoline, not just in theory, but in actual practice? For years, the idea of water-powered engines has been laughed off, filed away in the realm of science fiction or conspiracy. But curiosity has a way of refusing to sit still. Gasoline engines are everywhere, noisy, polluting, and completely dependent on a dwindling resource. Each day, they pour carbon monoxide and other toxins into the air. Every drop of fuel burned pushes us further into environmental chaos. But water, it's clean, it's abundant, and hidden inside every molecule of H2O is hydrogen, a powerful explosive gas when extracted correctly. The trick? Electrolysis. It's the process of splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen using electricity. The result is a fuel that burns hot, clean, and leaves nothing but water vapor behind. This project wasn't about making a viral video, it was about exploring what's possible. Could we take the familiar, a gasoline engine, and force it into a cleaner, smarter future? What we found surprised even us. Materials and preparation. To make this dream real, we had to get our hands dirty. Literally. The first step? Building a reliable hydrogen generator. That meant choosing materials that could handle both pressure and corrosion over time. We started with 20 sheets of 304L stainless steel. Why 304L? It's corrosion resistant, durable, and perfect for electrolysis. Each sheet needed to be cut and prepped with two precise holes. One 6mm and the other 11mm in diameter. These holes would allow water and gas to circulate through the plates during electrolysis. Next came two stainless steel threaded rods, M6, strong enough to hold all 20 plates together tightly. To separate the plates without causing a short circuit, we used nylon washers. First, M6 gaskets 18mm x 1.6mm for spacing. Then, M6 x 11mm x 0.8mm for tight insulation. Each plate was carefully stacked in a repeating pattern with washers on both sides. Then we secured everything using M6 stainless steel nuts. To handle the pressure of the reaction, we added two water filters rated for 8 bar. These would ensure a clean and steady flow of hydrogen gas without any unwanted leaks. The final part of prep? Creating a safe, leak-proof hydrogen chamber. This is where the magic would begin, converting electricity and water into pure hydrogen. As we tightened the last nut, the cell looked industrial, raw, and ready. But we weren't done yet. The real work was just beginning. Building the hydrogen generator with all the parts ready, it was time to bring our hydrogen generator to life. The core idea behind this setup is simple. Use electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. But making that happen safely and efficiently, that's where design matters. We assembled the 20 stainless steel plates tightly between the two threaded rods, ensuring perfect alignment. Every plate had to sit just right, spaced evenly by nylon washers to avoid electrical contact. If even one plate shifted or shorted, the entire system could fail or worse, spark a dangerous reaction. The plates were alternately connected, one to the positive, the next to the negative terminal, creating a series of charged surfaces. When voltage is applied, this alternating pattern enhances the electrolysis process, generating hydrogen gas at one end and oxygen at the other. On each end of the cell, we attached the 8-bar pressure filters, which would serve as both pressure regulators and output channels. These filters are key. Not only do they prevent leaks, but they also trap impurities and ensure stable gas flow to the engine. Then came the HH Plus solution. We filled a 2-liter bottle with clean water and added 4 tablespoons of HH Plus, a highly reactive compound designed to supercharge hydrogen extraction. 
Think of it as a chemical catalyst. It speeds up the breakdown of water molecules, making hydrogen production much faster and more efficient. Finally, we left a small air chamber inside the hydrogen tank, a buffer zone to handle pressure spikes and keep things safe. With everything sealed and double-checked, we stepped back. This wasn't just a bunch of metal parts anymore, it was a functioning hydrogen cell, the heart of our water engine. Now, first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Adapting the gasoline engine. Now that the hydrogen generator was ready, we had to face the big challenge. Modifying the gasoline engine to accept a completely different fuel. First, we disconnected the fuel line, no more gasoline. The engine wouldn't get a single drop. Instead, we rerouted the intake to receive pure hydrogen gas from our electrolysis cell. To manage airflow, we took a simple but clever step, covering half of the air filter with cardboard. Why? Because hydrogen burns differently from gasoline. It's lighter, more explosive, and requires a different oxygen balance. By reducing the air intake, we helped stabilize the fuel-air mixture to prevent the engine from choking or stalling. Next, we tweaked the carburetor, not a complete overhaul, just minor adjustments to make sure the hydrogen could mix with the air properly before entering the combustion chamber. Hydrogen needs far less volume to ignite, so even tiny changes can make a big difference. At this point, we had an engine with no gas, no oil-based intake, and a completely foreign fuel flowing through its veins. Everything about how this engine was designed to work was being challenged. People often ask, won't hydrogen damage the engine? Not if it's controlled. In fact, hydrogen combustion is cleaner with no carbon deposits, no unburned residues. It's like giving the engine a detox. With these changes in place, we were ready to see if the theory could become reality. The question was no longer if it could run. It was when we would hear it roar. The first indoor test, it was time. Everything was in place. The hydrogen generator was humming, the engine was prepped, and the air smelled faintly of charged water vapor. This was a single-take indoor test, no cuts, no edits, just the raw moment of truth. We flipped the switch. Inside the first container, the reaction started almost instantly. Tiny bubbles danced between the plates, pure hydrogen gas rising like steam from a boiling pot. It was working. The cell was alive. From the generator, hydrogen flowed through the filters down the line and into the engine. We could hear the subtle hiss as pressure built. We adjusted the carburetor once more. A small turn to keep it from flooding. Then chug, chug, vroom. The engine turned over and came to life. There was no smell of gasoline, no smoke, just the mechanical rhythm of a combustion engine but powered by nothing but water and electricity. Soon after, we noticed the water inside the electrolysis cell changing color, a slight orange-pink tint. That's when we realized not all our materials were as pure as we thought. Some of the nuts weren't 100% stainless steel. Mild corrosion had started, but it didn't stop the test. The engine kept running. The result? Success. Proof it works. The engine runs on water. We let the engine run. Minute after minute passed, and it didn't stall. No fuel line was connected. No drop of gasoline had touched the tank. What powered it? Just the hydrogen gas we pulled straight from water, using nothing more than electricity, stainless steel, and a few grams of HH+. We zoomed in on the carburetor, the intake, and the disconnected fuel line, all to prove that this was real. No hidden tubes, no backup power, just science in motion. You could hear it, the smooth thumping of a combustion engine. You could see it, no smoke, no vibration, no struggle. You could feel it, the warmth rising from a machine powered by clean gas made from water. Was it perfect? Not yet. The corrosion from those impure nuts reminded us this was still a prototype. But the concept fully validated. The hydrogen was doing exactly what gasoline does, but cleaner, cheaper, and more sustainable. For years, people said water engines were a fantasy, that physics didn't work, that the concept was a hoax. Well, now we had proof. And the best part? This was only the beginning. What's next and final thoughts? This first test proved something big. A water-powered engine isn't just an idea, it's a reality. But this is only the prototype. There's more to do, more to refine. Next, we'll take this engine outdoors. 
We'll test it under real-world conditions, heat, wind, load, and time. We'll also replace the corroded hardware with 100% pure stainless steel to eliminate contamination and extend cell life. We plan to optimize the hydrogen flow, add a pressure sensor for better control, and even design a compact version of the generator for mobile applications. Imagine this setup on a motorbike, a boat, or even emergency generators in remote areas running on nothing but water and sunlight. Some will still say it's not possible. Others will call it a stunt. That's okay. The truth doesn't need permission to exist. If you've made it this far, you're part of something bigger. A community that dares to ask, what if? Share this video with someone who doubts. Let them see the proof with their own eyes. And if you want to see the outdoor test, subscribe so you don't miss it. The future isn't waiting. It's already running on water. Ready.